Hi guys, I'm back. Okay, so I am so glad that I did not make you guys suffer through watching me change this ATG gun. Because I'm telling you, there's just something wrong with me where I cannot make it where it works. I just, my brain cannot figure it out. Like, I do it wrong every time. And every time it takes me so long, ridiculously long, to um, get the ATG tape rewound on or in my dispenser. I'm just like, why can't I figure this out? I guess tonight's the night of trains because there's another one. That one didn't even give me warning. Normally, the, it'll blow um, the horn at the, the crossing just down. There's actually two railroad crossings within probably, goodness, oh well, about a quarter mile from the house, either direction, um, north or south. So, yeah, I'm just kind of surprised. so pretty. This paper is gorgeous. Um, oh yeah. So I was talking about my inability to do my ATG like an adult crafter. So apparently it's just not, I just, I think it's just not in my DNA. I can't do it. Try really hard to do it and it's just one of those it's not my talent <laughs> my goodness I guess I didn't even know you could be talented to restring your or reload your ATG This one's a little taller than normal. Apparently my measurement is not quite right. It's so weird if you look at these pages, like how like thick and you know nice this feels, and then you get here and it's like, oh my goodness, this is my base page. It's so flimsy. Good thing we're bulking it up with cardstock, right? have anything to say but then I think about it and I just thought to myself you basically just talk to yourself for a, a full hour <laughs> when you were inking and gluing down those other parts of the paper so no wonder I don't have anything else to say Order more ATG 
rolls and also some more score tape. And I actually don't buy the actual score tape one because it's very expensive and I'm kind of cheap like that sometimes. But two, I found this place, it's called tapejungle.com and they have super reasonable prices and their product is just as sticky. You guys have seen me use it many, many times, but their product is just as sticky as score tape. The only difference is the backing doesn't say Suk Wang. It's like that weird kind of orangey kind of yellow color. The only one that I am not really caring for out of you know all the tapes is their half inch because the half inch tape has this um, it's almost like fibers in it you know there's like a cross hatch whereas all the others are smooth and there's nothing um oh come on don't do that to me I'll have to show it to you guys sometime when I'm using the half inch okay. and uh, yeah so the half inch is not really my favorite favorite to use because of that. So. Uh. Ugh, I cannot even wait to see all of these pages together. I did tell you guys this is another page swap, right? <laughs> If not, it's another page swap. So all of my pages obviously are going to be identical. And then we ship them to Christy, who is Crafty Creations here on YouTube. And she redistributes and remails them back to us. And then I get them. And then I get to make a book out of all of them. And it's very exciting. So, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, got a little animated on that one. not where I want it to stick. That's more of where I want it to stick. There we go. It's going to be really hard not to make the inside of this mini like not to make my pages really chunky. When I got my last pages back, I felt really bad because my pages were so chunky compared to everybody else's. It just, yeah, <laughs> I just felt really bad. My pages are always ridiculous. So I'm going to try and not be so chunky. But then again, you know, when you're, when you're, when you do something and it's, you know, you're trying to not, I don't know, like, they, I think they all know to prepare for mine for a chunky page. And I'm not saying that everybody else, like, you know, there were others that were very, you know, chunky as well, but I mean, basically I was on steroids, it needed a diet. Looked like wild orchid crafts and vomited all over it. So I'm going to try and not let that happen again. But I did buy a lot of flowers to go for these pages and I really wanted to use them. So I might just go for it. Let's 
and oh my gosh we're like not even done with this one and uh, a couple of the the girls who are doing this one they've already decided on the next page and the next paper collection and crazy me guess who already bought the paper <laughs> Yeah, that would be me, um, because I want to play along too. I don't want to be left out. So, yeah, we were we were joking and said we were gonna try and do this once a year, but we're not even done with this one. <laughs> and the other one is already basically planned, and paper has already been picked up. So, yeah, I think we're gonna be doing them quite a um, faster than maybe anticipated. I don't know. Gosh, these papers are so gorgeous. I am so sad that this is no longer available. It's really sad. Prima needs to reprint it because it just needs to happen. It's just too pretty. Um, yeah. It is too too pretty. Gosh, these pages with just the paper on them are look at these pages are already super thick with just the paper on them. Let's see if I can get it angled right. And I'm not even done with all the papering. Holy cow. I guess I'll have to be a little more careful. And I just realized in that flap I should have put a magnet. I might be going back and putting magnets in some of these. Like I really feel like I should have a magnet here but I might actually yeah I feel like I should put a magnet in here but I might do it. Here. I don't know. We'll figure it out. I guess uh, I maybe should have thought about this a little bit more before putting these pages together. So, like I said, this is from Paper Crafter 45's Make a Mini Album tutorial, and yeah, she does an amazing job on tutorials. And maybe once it's bound, it won't flip open, so maybe, I don't know. I'll think about it. Okay, last few pieces. I have to remember because I didn't cut these down so it's this one here yeah this one goes on the right I saying oh yeah so this is a tutorial and I'll we'll try and link it down below in each of these videos um, but the way that she does her tutorials is amazing and just so easy to follow Is so funny. I was talking to my friend Melissa who lives local here about Scrapbook Expo because she's the one I'm gonna go with her and my sister. We're gonna she, uh, last couple of years she's been the one that I go with and then my sister has um, been joining us and I've had other friends join but um, so we were talking about Expo and then part of me goes Maybe I should wait to do my pages till after expo because then I could, you know, you know, if I get any dyes or any goodies or, you know, anything like that, I can use them on the pages. And then I was like, no, you need to do these pages now. I could just hear my friend Christy, who is, you know, the hostess of this one going, you need to get those done now. Uh, then I had to laugh a lot because just stuff like that I find funny I'm always getting in trouble because 
I'm a little bit of a procrastinator. And I'm a slow crafter. I am. It's just how it is. How it always has been. I try and go fast. I just... I don't know. I guess... That, you know, I'm not saying people who can craft fast don't enjoy the process, but I really do enjoy the, the, the crafting process of, you know, putting, you know, embellishing. I'm not so much a, um, a constructor. That's not really so much my thing. I know some people love the construction part of it, and the embellishing part is just like, and not really their favorite thing to do because they say they suck at it and they don't but you know we all have you know the things that we like to do so um so yeah First page complete. Whoop, whoop. Okay, well, not complete, but just papered. So assembled. Yeah. How pretty! And it feels so like substantial now. I mean, just with the paper on it. anything down. It's even. As I say that, I'm like, it's even. Whatever. No biggie. It's just stuck under another piece of paper, so if I wanted to move it now, it wouldn't even be a possibility. There we go. just had this horrible thought. What if I have this thing upside down? And who knows? Maybe I did. So, gotta check on that. Alright. Let's make sure that this is right. There we go. Alright, that's all good. Let's get this page on just right. And I don't know why some of them are seem like they're like shorter and some of them are longer but maybe that's just my page construction some of the lines are better than others probably right but hey it's handmade so whatever <laughs> oh there goes my phone I don't know what that's doing about why it vibrated on me. Okay. This is an email to an event that I was actually going to go to and then there was some drama so I decided not to go to it. It was a couple that we're friendly with um, who split up and it was at the gal's house and 
she basically defriended everybody who was friends except for me and then I felt weird because uh, you know it's not that I'm any better friends with her than him but it felt weird because it almost felt like an oversight because we weren't really good friends I don't know so it just felt weird so she had posted in the the event like thanking everyone who just came out so now I feel even more awkward about that and just a little piece I'm gonna do a little surgery right there all right and last This matting has actually gone. Now that I say it, I'm going to struggle with this page right here, so maybe I should wait to say it. But I feel like the matting portion of this is actually a lot easier than I thought it was going to be, just like slipping under the pockets and everything like that. Pages papered. Ta da! Okay, so next stop is decorating. So I'm going to stop this video and um, get everything kind of set up, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! Hi guys, so I'm back. Um, so I did uh, something off camera, and that's just to kind of save some time. I created these little 3x4 cards, and these are just um, actually from this pack right here. And what I did was I just inked around the edges using that same Victorian velvet and um, backed them on little goober on there just some plain back, uh, black cardstock and that is so tedious I just did that off camera um, so those are all done and I'm going to slip them in here like this so each of the pockets is going to get two three by four cards and then um, again while I was gone I was playing around with some ideas for the decoration of the pocket and what I decided on is I'm going to use this uh, die and it's a where is it whoopsies it's a cherry Lynn design die it's this die right here, yeah, it's Cherry Lynn, and it's the uh, ornamental gate, and it's B196. I'm not sure if it's even still available. I got it probably four or five years ago from uh, my scrapbook expo, and so I'm going to do this, and I'm going to cut this in gold, the gold basil shimmer paper, or recollections, uh, this paper right here. I'm going to cut it out in that. And then I'm going to use my CC Design Cutter Dies, and this is the leafy branch. So I'm going to cut that out on the, where is it? Oh, apparently I cut off the tag, but this is the Recollections Shimmer Paper as well. So I'm going to do that, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my Bundled Sage Distress Ink to ink over it so it gives it kind of a green color and I'm going to just place kind of the two branches like that I'm going to use one of the wood pieces from the tales of you and me and this one says tales of us and um, I used gold because the writing was in gold so it's going to sit something like that. I played around with some flowers to go on it as well. So much for keeping it less bulky. But I'm going to use
like something like that. on that corner and then I'll do the same kind of over this corner Oops. as well I was just kind of twisting them together to see if I liked a particular style or angle, you know, something like that. So then these are gonna go something like that. And then of course they need, I need a butterfly or something. So I haven't decided between these two butterflies and I'm just gonna do one like that. So I've cut out of that same shimmer cardstock and inked with the Victorian velvet that. Haven't decided if I like the rounder ones or the more angular ones. And I think I like the more angular ones. I think I like these better. Okay, so I think I'm going to go with that. So I'll just put these little flurs over here. Go back up there. Okay. So set that over there. Now, for those of you that know, my wonderful husband got me for Christmas the Vagabond, and I've been trying to use it and use it and use it, but I have mostly, um, what do you call it? I'm going to ink the paper first. I have mostly, I mean, I have some steel roll dies, but I have a lot of the wafer things. So with the Vagabond, apparently, because I didn't know this until last night when I was frustrated doing research because <laughs> it wouldn't cut <clears throat> um, for me is um, you need a uh, thin die adapter plate apparently <laughs> so um, I am waiting I got that ordered and I will be waiting for that to be delivered so for until I get it. I'll put that up with a thing in just a second, but um, until I get it, I'll be using my Big Shot so I don't have to fight with all of those crazy um, sandwiches and things like that. definitely will relieve some of my frustration because <laughs> I tried and tried and tried and I'd have to cut and recut and recut and add a sandwich and oh my goodness this layer of cardstock and that layer of cardstock and it was just ridiculous Oopsies. and um, so I finally figured it out that it is operator error <laughs> I wish I could blame it on the machine, but uh, no, it was me. Okay, so let's get these let's get this all cleaned up. Move things out of the way. So I can bring my big shot into frame. begin the cutting. So I have one set already. I probably inked way more paper than I need. I guess that's fine just like that. And I'll run it through the back one more time just in case.
Um, huh, that was weird. Apparently, well, I don't really need that part anyway, but apparently when I ran it back through, something might have shifted. And this is why. <laughs> I ran it through twice. This is a really, again, this is a really old die as well. I think it was one of my first purchases that I made when I got into crafting. And I uber love it. I've used it on many, many projects. And, um, yeah, so definitely get gotten. Money's worth out of it, but sometimes it's a little bit of a pain to get out. Stock right there because well it'll make it cut better. Okay. Or it should. If it doesn't, then I'm gonna be really mad. Apparently mostly did. <laughs> Speaking. There's my plate. So, yeah, that was my frustration last night trying to figure out how to get my Vegabond to cut. right sandwich for me and I'm hungry so now I'm getting frustrated with this die hold on one second oh, no. I hear Blakey barking so Apparently, 
against the die because it's the same spots over and over and over again. harassing the neighbor dog. They're so mean. I don't know why they're just mean little monsters. Okay, now. Okay, so that takes care of those. avoid it for the rest of the project. I <laughs> don't really want to deal with that. Okay. Let's go ahead. This one through. Oops. I'll do this over the garbage so all the little pieces will fall in there. Maybe it's my plate. I don't know. And I think I need one of those like little uh, rolly things, you know, that, um, you know, gets all those pieces out and stuff. Apparently, I'm not good at die cutting. <laughs> so, probably should have done this off camera. This is getting tedious. So, anyway, my little monsters. They like to go out and harass the neighbor dog. And bark at the poor thing through the fence. And just be mean and ugly. The reason I'm cutting another piece is because when I sit down my paper, I accidentally set it on my wet baby wipe over there. And so now scoop that up. So that's two. Some extra pressure right there. Without breaking my machine. <laughs> I forgot about the sticker. I hate when I do that. Did this work a little better for me? Well, apparently it did. Don't want to jinx myself. But it's looking like yes. It did. With that extra pressure. Okay. So now. I know. That I need to add. Extra pressure. 
It's probably just the way, you know, because like all machines are calibrated differently. It's probably just that. Right? Or it's just me. I don't know. Do this in the garbage. Hi, truly. What are you doing? If I'm going to say sorry that you were bad and were mean to the neighbor, you want to come up? Come up. No, you don't want to come up. You're not that sorry. Okay. Well, go play with your brother then. You can't go back outside. Well, for a while, anyway. Just the meanest mommy ever. farther along than this. And actually, hang on one second. I actually had a piece. I usually keep it in there. afraid I'm going to lose these little guys. I don't know about you guys. But I just feel like I'm going to lose them. They're so teeny teeny. Okay. And I'm thinking... But I should probably look at my silhouette and see what I have as far as cuts and use that as well because why not, right? I'm sure that they, I have a lot of, well, I'm not as sure. I know that I have a lot of cuts. Just got to figure out something to go with this project. Okay. So that that's that part. But we're not done die cutting yet. Have no fear. wipe. Oh, I guess it helps if I'm inking the, the shiny side, right guys? <laughs> How many of you saw that coming? Let's do some direct paper. Out. 
that was so silly. <laughs> I think that will be enough for now to get me through. And I'm not too worried about the lines and that it's not completely even. Um, because it, it's gonna, you know, it's a butterfly, so it's going to be um, have open parts of it. So, okay, gosh. So this is an Elatina cutting die, classic collection, and I don't think this one has a name. It's just butterflies. Um, again, I got this one several years ago, or last year at the uh, Scrapbook Expo. So, I think it might still be available, not 100% sure, but you can check it out. And their website, I think, is just elatina.com. Okay. All right. So, here... Pokey tool out. Yep, this is where I could really use that. Um, I think it's a Spellbinders cleaner, the thing. I'll keep an eye out and maybe if they have one at Expo for a good price. Maybe I can pick one up. I wish this one had um, two of each butterfly. This one, this butterfly, and this one I think are my favorites. Oh, well, I like all of them, <laughs> but I think I've, I've really only used these two on projects. die does cut really really well. The only thing I've noticed about them is once you start cutting with them on the cutting face of them is um, you'll kind of see you can kind of see it where the pink has kind of come off the cutting edges. It's not a bad thing it doesn't hurt the way that they cut or anything like that but it was just one of those things I didn't know if it was something I had done or it was something that was just part of the manufacturing you know process but I want to make sure I clean the pieces out so they continue to cut and we're actually halfway through though so that's good
I know wax paper keeps has a clean cut. And I've done that before. It helps clean the die out each time. This is such a small die though, it's not too, too bad. Plus we only have what, four more to cut. <laughs> already gone this far without messing with everything. I don't even know what to talk about right now. <laughs> My brain is just like poke, 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 poke. Poke out the pieces. My goodness, this mess is getting worse and worse as I'm cutting through, and this is just designing one page, so, or one front. No idea what I'm going to do for the rest of the pages. I know I can use a little more dimension on this page, and also the back page, because they're not, you know, nothing's folding over them. But again, like I said, I was going to try and do less dimension, but obviously that was already a fail with my design idea. Using the flowers. However, I am using the smaller flowers, so I'm using the 4mm rosebuds in a couple colors and then the 10mm open roses. What are your guys' favorite roses? I prefer the open roses versus the tea roses or the wild roses or, you know, any of the others that they sell. But that's just my preference. out. I'm going to roll this back in to see if I can flatten it maybe a little bit because it's bowed. It's going to get set off to the side. And then all of this can come over here. And I'm just going to have a pile of pieces. And I am going to clean this out because if I need to use it again and it's not cleaned out, it'll drive me crazy because I'll have to clean it out before I can use it. Right. So that one there. And I'm going to keep that die out because the chances of me using it again are pretty high. Now to clean out the rest of these. You know what I didn't do? I did not start up my hot glue gun, which I always do. Now I have other glues that I know would work, like um, my Art Glitter Glue, amazing glue, but, and it, and it dries so fast, but I think I'm just kind of old-fashioned 
when it comes to my glue. I like gluing my flowers down with hot glue. I don't know what it is. I just like it. Old habits, right? All these tiny little pieces. Teeny, teeny, teeny. So well. Okay. okay, let's get those pieces. There we go. Okay. Now, put those right there. Put these right here. Now these pieces. They're so delicate. And I don't think I have any more of my Create a Sticker stuff. Let's check it out. Nope, I don't have enough to run them through. So, going to use my. Delicately. I could probably get away with using a sponge on these. Um, trying to do this fast enough where the glue doesn't dry on me before I can stick it down. That is the struggle. Oh boy, that's a little crookedy. Nope, 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 nope. Getting these straight. I guess I have a wonky fence, right? Okay. So that's pretty good. Get some of that glue up. Delicate little die cuts. And I've lost my my tweezers someplace over here at some point in time. Make sure that I need to make sure that it's not going to drip everywhere. Okay. Getting, I think I'm getting more glue on my table than 
on the die cut itself. <laughs> Good thing for wipes and baby wipes, right? Okay, this is gonna go here. That just is so pretty. And that'll go right there. This corner didn't get glued down like I. I want it to, so let's glue that down. Okay, so this can get stuck down with art glitter glue. That looks cute just like that, but we're going to keep going. And do I want this one? Or do I have any? I don't I do. Okay, am I gonna go antique or wait? I'm gonna go with the antique. So Farther, let's get these butterflies set up so it's just a uh, good to go. I know they have adhesive on them, but what I've noticed with these is a lot of times they'll get like popped off and then they won't stick. Now I have a rhinestone stuck to me that I will find shortly. I have to add some more of these someplace else. Try and tie them in a bit more. Ugh. It's going to be so pretty. I just love it. Who knows, maybe I'll finish, obviously not today, but maybe I'll finish sometime this week. Now that I've said that, like a million things are going to come up where I'm not able to finish it during the week or ever. No, just kidding. I'll be able to finish it. This is when I wish I didn't have to go back to work tomorrow. So I could just keep crafting and filming. But alas. Unfortunately, crafting for me does not pay the bills.
actually. I always joke that I work so I can craft. <laughs> Only semi-joking. Apparently that one doesn't want to stick anywhere that I want it to. Now, but I've been thinking about it, I want to know where my dang tweezers went because I can't find them. Okay, one more. Okay, hold on one second. <laughs> 